So for today's What What Wednesday question, we're going to talk about what are the top five things you miss about living in a house? <laughs> this is my number one, what I miss. <laughs> I miss a good shower. And I know there are ways to make to make a RV showers better, but for us in our situation, if you do, if you're doing a lot of boondocking or you don't always have that hookup, we hate having, you know, to pack everything up to go dump our tanks and refill up with water. So when we're boondocking, we really try to be skimpy on the water. Sometimes it's not the best shower. I usually have to pick between washing my hair or shaving because you can't do both. <laughs> So I, I really, that was one of my big things. And like a bathtub, you know, that's gone. So uh, I usually have to pick between Marissa getting a shower or me getting a shower. And uh, <laughs> I'll let you guess who usually, uh, <laughs> well, and you have to think too, the shower we had at our house, we loved it. I mean, we just got it remodeled. It had, uh, like dual shower heads. It was a giant tile walk-in glass enclosed, deal i mean it was and you could shower a long time if you wanted to I mean. <laughs> so it's you know not as roomy as we had before an rv shower is an rv shower i mean you can you can improve it a little bit but comparing it to a house shower for the most part mm. it's probably just not ever going to be the same yeah, and the pressure sometimes is not as great but yeah. But it gets the job done. I, to me, it's not as bad as what I'd imagined, I guess, or I'd seen sometimes. I think you get used to yeah. it. Yeah, you It do. just makes, like, having a regular shower so much better, though. You really, <laughs> you take it for granted, I guess, because you can tell a huge difference. There's just fewer decisions when you're living in a house would be another thing that we miss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything's, you can really automate things easier at least with our traveling style and you can automate things a lot easier when you're living in a home you've got a lot more routines and you know where everything's at um so that was kind of nice to not even, have decision overload <laughs> well even just as simple as how are we going to get mail you know like mm -hmm. your mail comes to your house you walk to your mailbox you know where yeah. your mail's coming <laughs> like, from now we've had this like ongoing <laughs> discussion of we have to kind of finagle things around to be able yeah. to get mail which there's as definitely that. ways <laughs> but yeah mm -hmm. just getting your mail takes tons of decisions <laughs> definitely missing family and friends i'm a very relational person so family and friends are very important to us and when you're traveling, you know, you're, you're not around them as much and that's hard. You miss them. We do a lot of, uh, a lot of Skype and FaceTime and, you know, we, we do like to go back to our hometown every few months because that's important to us and maintaining that relationship. And, um, and you make friends on the road, but they're not the same they're not you know and they could develop into deeper relationships over time but it's it's definitely different than people you've known seeing on a daily or weekly basis mm -hmm. for years and years and years so one more thing that i miss about a house and this applies to me more than marissa probably but um is having a permanent sewer connection <laughs> <laughs> and water connection and all that but especially the sewer it's just part of it i mean you gotta every time you move you gotta reconnect disconnect and you put the gloves on and you're always you know Messing with the sewer. <laughs> uh, and, and there's times too, since we started boondocking a little more, where we don't, we've got to look up places to be able to even dump our tanks into mm -hmm. a sewer. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something I miss when you just wake up and the sewer's already done. You don't have to move it around or do anything with it because uh, it's all permanently done under the house. <laughs> it's just time consuming. It is. It's just a lot of extra time of it is. moving things around. And nobody wants to be messing with the sewer. No, no. Um. Especially Marissa. So she just she just doesn't. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I've, I've changed a lot of dirty diapers. I deal, I deal with our sewer quite a bit. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of sewer flowing out of our kids still. <laughs> um, we're working on it. We're going to get her sitting on that potty. Right, Hensley? You going to go to the potty? Nope. We're, we're working on her using the potty, but I don't think Hensley's Yeah, we're in me and Marissa. Yeah, Hensley doesn't care and doesn't even make any effort whatsoever. So. <laughs> we got a little bit of time. I think it's because she's a smart kid. Like, she knows. So oh, like, yeah. I think she... she'll start using that potty when I can just 
do sit it right here now. and let yeah. you <laughs> you take care Duh. of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess our last one would be just community and church involvement. Like I feel like um you know, you you definitely have a harder time getting that connection on the road and having those like constant people in your life and even just like community events. Like I feel like we miss out on a lot of those. You know, I follow a lot of friends and family on social media and it's hard seeing things going on in your community or your churches and you're missing out on them. And, um, and we definitely go to different churches on the road and that's nice. It is a good thing, but, um, it's, it's not the same yeah. as your, your hometown church. Uh, which is again a reason we like going back and spending that time there. So, yeah, again, it's it's like the friends thing. It's just kind of a casual, you know. You meet people at a church or at a community event, you know, because we still go to events and stuff in the community if we know about them mm -hmm. where we're at. <laughs> but it's definitely not the same. A lot of these things aren't the same as what they'd be in a house, and we do miss them to some extent. But you know, we still get a lot of these things while on the road, mm -hmm. and on top of that. Um, you know, we get all these new experiences that there's no way we could get, you know, in our hometown. And that just kind of trumps it. Um, the experiences we create as a family and places we get to see and, uh, and people we get to meet. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you just, you just, there's some things you just can't do in your hometown. Mm -hmm. And so right now, you know, in this phase of our life, we we're happy where we're at and the trade-offs we've had to make and sacrifices. Um, and sacrifices and, yeah. yeah. It's, it's been, it's well been worth it. Um, so just, just know there's some things you'll miss. There's some things that are hard about it, but just keep pushing through and know that uh, to us, it's been, it's been well worth it. Totally worth totally it. Totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our top five things we miss about living in a house. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, let us know.